I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Yeah. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. Yeah. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. <laughs> Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. As you see, the title today is Why in Islam there is no love, no music, no chess, no dancing, no poetry. I mean, what is left for a human being to live for? In the same time, the Muslims, they claim that they are Muslims, but every Muslim, he listens to music. Many Muslims, they feel in love when love is haram, you know. Isn't it haram? The Muslim, they will say to you, no, what are you talking about? The prophet, he used to love Aisha. <laughs> he loved Aisha to the point he have 13. <laughs> If a man he love a woman, he do not need second women, neither the third, neither the fourth. There's no love in Islam. Islam teach you how to follow your lust and how to follow your penis. So Islam kill love. Music, music is haram. If you listen to music, you go to hell. But having sex with a child is okay. You know, music will take you to hell. But dogs. Having a puppy will take you to hell. The anti-puppy religion. What's the problem with the puppies? Why Muhammad is so scared of puppies? Why the angel themselves cannot enter a house, have puppies? So Islam is a very silly, stupid cult full of fictions. Before we start our topic today, and later we will open Skype if there is any Muhammad that would like to call us, I would like to start with some comments made by some Abduls. We have Abdul here, his name is Abdul Aziz. Perfect name, Abdul Aziz, Abdul. And Abdul Aziz is a smart, not like the rest of Muhammad, and he is the smartest, maybe. He said the following. Let me make the text bigger a little bit. So you guys can see it. It looks like if I have it bigger, it doesn't fit, so we have to make it smaller, which is strange. Okay, okay let's zoom it over. Maybe now that will work better. Anyway, we can move it around. Abdul Aziz, he said, Do you believe in Trinity? Blah, 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 blah. Do you believe in the Trinity, etc.? Uh, do you affirm, la 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 la, okay. Are you distinct or separate being? The Bible claims that God is not the author of confusion. And there are 40,000 demonations in Christianity. Uh, Catholic calls uh, Protestant heretic. Orthodox call most of the Protestant heretic, except etc. Uh, Protestants have uh, Calvinist, Calvinist, Lutherans. My friend, you are just a stupid fool. Let me tell you why. 
You just got your profit busted. I will spank you using the hand of Muhammad because I want to keep my hand clean. This is what your stupid prophet Muhammad said. And by the way, I'm not insulting your prophet by calling him stupid. I'm just respecting him. This is your prophet, he is saying, that the Christian will be 73 sect. Sorry, 72, 71. And the Muslim, they will be the, more, the most divided sect or religion ever. They will be 73. We just saw that you are saying we are 40,000 sect now. So again, you prove that Muhammad is a fraud, son of Muta. In the top of that, you said that the Catholic, they say this about the Protestant, the Protestants say this about the Catholic, and the Orthodox say this. Our friend, we go but what, by what Christ, he said. Christ, he said, whoever believe in me and die will live. Not whoever believe in the Catholic or Protestant or Orthodox. I agree, there is some priests, they are satanic like your prophet, and they try to divide the church. But the church of Jesus is a church of universe. It's universal church, which is united church. Any division is not from Christ, it's from the devil. And the Messiah is the head of the church, is not the bishop, is not the priest, is not the Protestant, neither the Catholic or the Orthodox. So for us as a Christians, and everybody knows, unless you are a foolish person who follow a bishop, or follow a, 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 you know, a, a man, uh, then if you are a donkey, you are a donkey. What we can do for that? But Christianity is so clear. Whoever believe in me, not me as a Christian prince, me as Jesus, and he die, he will live. Not whoever believe in the Pope, or the Orthodox Patriarch, or the Protestant, or, 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 or. So you are silly, and you have no excuse, and you have nothing to say. And then you say to me, do you believe in the, uh, the Trinity as this and as that? The Trinity, you know, the, the, the funny, uh, this Abdul, he said, that the Bible says that God is not the author of the confusion. But then we go to the Quran, we will find that God is the author of the confusion. If we ask this Abdul, how Allah, he sat in the chair, he said, don't ask. Okay, Allah have hands, how his hand look like? Don't ask. What the heck? So why he is telling us? He have hands, but in the same time, we don't, we don't dare even to question how Allah, he sit in the chair, how he said, don't ask, don't talk about it. And then we find a verse in the Quran saying, the Quran confirm that there is tons of verses in the Quran, nobody knows what they mean, save Allah. And you just say that God is not the author of the confusion. So why does God, he send verses causing confusion? And not only that, actually, the verses here saying, that those verses, the one who have illness in their heart, they will follow it. So you have a book saying that Allah, he sent verses to deceive Muslims, because who is the one who followed the book anyway? It's not me, it's not the Christians, it's not the Hindus, it's not the Jews, we are laughing at it. So Allah, he sent books, or he sent the book, and this book, nobody can explain. Why? Because Muhammad is a stupid idiot, he do not know what he's saying. And those who they are trying to find out the meaning, or the one who try to use those verses, is those who have illness in their heart. And if you change the translator here, translator is very funny. Uh, you will see we have, an, we have a new Quran now. Look, just a change of translator. Look how big we become. Okay? So there is uh, some verses in the Quran, they are very clear. Okay? And they are the foundation. If we ask you, where are they? Where is the verses in the Quran which are clear? I challenge you. There's none. Not even one. You know? And then you see here, and those verses who nobody knows what they mean, and we do not know which verses he's talking about because all the Quran, nobody knows what it mean. Those who, and look what, look what the Muslim they add, look here, you know. Look what they add. That those verses, they will be followed by who? By the one who they are doing illegal, the one who they are the thieves, the one who do adultery. Like what the heck? Those are going to follow the Quran. So Allah made verses for those so those people they can follow them. But how they can follow them if they nobody knows what they mean? So when Abdul he tried to be smart, Abdul he get his prophet busted. So number one. You, you say that, you know, Christianity is 40,000, 
And your prophet, he says, the maximum Christianity will be is 72. Sect, 71, 72. And as you see, the most divided cult is Islam. So if the, if the scale of who is to follow, well, according to your prophet, the last one to follow is Muhammad. Because according to your logic, there is many divisions. So which one you follow? Hmm? You're a prophet, he says, Muslims are the most divided. They are 73, while the Jews are 71. The Christian, they are 71 or 72. Muhammad is not sure. And the Muslims are 73. And only one of the Muslims will go to heaven. Which one? Allah knows best. And as long as you are a person who don't like confusion, what kind of religion based on Allah knows best? When uh, there's a video posted in uh, Omad uh, channel, a person he asked Ali Dawa, the Quran says, uh, some they say they are four and their dog is number five. Some they say they are five and their dogs is number six. Some they say, some they say. So what the point of these verses? Ali Dawa, he says, oh, those are the scholars asking, you stupid idiot, Ali Dawa. At the time of Muhammad, the scholars are asking, the scholars, the scholars of Islam already? That's it? Muhammad is there and now there are scholars of Islam? Brother? You don't know what to say. Look at this. What is the purpose of this Quran? Some, they say they are four and their dog is for number five. Some, they say they are five and their dog is number six, brother. Hey, brother and sister. Some in the Quran, they to the Prophet. And they said to him, Tell us the story about the seven sleepers. You stupid idiot. They just told you they are seven sleepers. They just told you seven sleepers. What is their number? Muhammad, he starts scratching his head because he's a donkey. So he do not know what to say. If he say four, it might be wrong. If he say five, it might be wrong too. If he say six, it might be wrong. He do not know. So he said to himself, let us play the game. Some, they say they are four, and their dog is number five. Have you ever heard of any language in the world? They count the dog as number five? I never heard of that. I mean, maybe you ask a child, uh, how many uh, how are you? Tell me your family, he might count his dog. You know, he's a child, he's a baby. But a man, he claimed to be God, or oh, sorry, Muhammad, who claimed that he received message from God, he says they are four, and their dog is number five some they say they are five and their dog is number four some they say they are four five and their dog is uh, six and their number uh, dog is number seven so what the number what the point of this verse if until now we did not know what is the number what is the number can somebody help us what is this and then allah he says to them well uh, uh, okay uh, none knows their number except a few like, what the heck my lord knows best of their number like, who's talking Allah is saying my dog my uh, you know no no Allah told Muhammad tell them my lord know best their number so what the number I mean, why Allah don't want to tell us the number? Is it like a secret who can be used for a nuclear weapon? What is the, exactly the problem? Is that like a phone number of a female people who start calling her? Why Allah is hiding it? You know, there are seven sleepers. So what is the number? No, I think there are eight, maybe nine. Abdul, seven sleepers. The seven sleepers story. How many they are? Mm, they are, I think, some they say they are four and their dog is number five. Some they say they are five and their dog is number six. Some they say like, what the heck is that? What, the, what's, what this drama is about? Why we have a drama? I mean, they, they are asking you, what is the number of those people? Very simple. But because your God is a stupid fool, he don't dare even to answer. And this is a fiction story, The Seven Sleepers, written by a guy, his name is Jacob, he is from Syria. It's just to, let us say, uh, to tell the Christians, you know, have patience. Today they discriminate you, tomorrow you will be victorious.
what this story is about here. And then Muhammad, he starts telling us they stay in the cave. But shouldn't you tell us who are they, those who stay in the cave? They don't even know their number. And then the dog, we find the dog. The story is not about a dog. It's an angel, an angel who opened his arms to protect them. Have you ever heard of a dog can protect people from an army of a king? I want to buy that dog. What a stupid religion. So when Abdul, he speak about the Trinity, uh, well, how come you don't question Allah, how he is one exactly? You say, when Muslims, they say Allah is one. How he is one? Explain to me. Tell me Muhammadan can do so? What does one mean? Is it one unit? Is it one pencil? Is it one God? If it's one God, why you are using the word one? If there's no other. Secondly, if Allah is one God, how Allah in the Quran, he says, if we like to take a partner, if we like, we, not I, we will take it from us. And now the Muhammadan, they will say to me, Allah knows best what he meant by this verse. No, I thought you are sure that Allah is one. Okay, Allah is one. How he is taking a partner and this partner from us. Us who? Which us? So your, your God is very silly. I mean, and why God want to take a wife? I mean, what kind of God does God is? Listen up, brother and sisters. I am Allah, and if I like to take a wife, I will take her from us. So Allah, he think he is a part of a race, a group of creatures, which he refused to take a wife unless it is from his group. That's what we learn from this. It's in front of you. You see, the Muslim, when you ask them why Allah, he said, we, they say to you, oh, we here is majestic. What does that mean? It's like more respect. So Allah, he is not even satisfied with himself being I. So he decided to use the language of a human being to be bigger, like into more intimidating. We the king, but even the king, when he say we the king, because he speak in the name of the nobles, that's why he says we. The nobles, they elect one of them to be a king. And usually they used to have even many kings, and they choose one to be the king of all of them. So we intended, okay, why Allah he used the word we? They say to you, more respect. So Allah, he find that I, as one, is not nice for him. It's in front of you. And this is the only answer the Muslim they will give you. Allah, he used the word we, it's just because it's more majestic. What does that mean? It means Allah is not satisfied with his I. It's more suitable to Allah to be we. So if your God Allah is trying to be more than one, what is our problem? And then we find the same verse says, if we would like to take a partner, and by the way, the word here, past time, this is an accurate translation, but the past time in the Arabic language, it's used at that time, mean lahu, which is mean a woman. لو أردنا أن نتخذ لهوًا لاتخذناه من لدنا إن كنا فاعلين. So lahuan is a woman. Fun. This is how they respect women. So if you want to take a fun, and this is why the Muslim translate, they say, okay, i.e. wife. And then after we have sex with her, we will have a son. We could surely, again, he say we. I mean, this God is stuck with we, but he is one supposedly. We could surely, why he doesn't say I could surely? What's a problem? Self-confident? Speaking to the mirror? Do Allah have a broken mirror? He see himself many, but he is one. We could surely have taken it from us. Okay, us who? 
And now you, you scratch your head, you scratch your testicles, you scratch Al Bukhari, you scratch Ibn Kathir, you scratch your wife, I don't care, but you have no answer. You have no answer. So the Muhammadan, when they tried to be philosophers, they found themselves that they are empty balloon, full of fart, not even gas. This is the fart religion. They speak too much about one God, but they do not even know who is this God. If we ask the Muhammadan, what the word Allah mean? They don't know. Ibrahim mean? They don't know. Ishmael? They don't know. Okay. Abraham? They don't know. What the heck? Idris? They don't know. They don't know. So what this religion is about? This is the religion of Allah knows best. <laughs> and the second we speak about Allah knows best, it is, you find the Muslim they have difficulty with the Trinity, uh, but they don't find difficulty that Allah have a shin. Okay, they have difficulty with the Trinity, but they don't have difficulty that the Quran is not created. So now we have a two divine. We have Allah as a divine and the Quran as a divine. Because if the Quran is not created, then where the Quran coming from? In Christianity, we don't have a problem with that. In the beginning, it was the Word, and the Word is God, our God. It's one. The Word itself is God. In Islam, no. The Word is a, a divine, and it is independent divine. It's not a created. Let me open Skype to see if we can, if we, if there is some Abdul are interested to call us, we can take them for, you know, for a snack. Let us see. And we will continue answering some comments, which is, I find very funny. And I find that not too many today live on us with us. So maybe I should not open Skype. You know what? Forget about Skype as long as not too many as a penalty. Okay. We continue in the comment. Who is next? Uh, there is something we did not answer. Hmm. And look here, yeah, there is something we did not answer in this comment. He says, uh, God is not the author of confusion. Your entire religion is confused. That th This is what happened when you made up a word of God. Well, I find it very funny and very stupid of you to say so. When you're a stupid idiot, Muhammad, in the Quran, he keep confirming our Bible. When the Jews, they came to Muhammad, asking him about uh, the punishment of adultery. What Muhammad, he said to them, Allah told me to tell you. You are asking me to judge between you, but you have the book. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> what kind of a prophet what kind of religion he keeps saying to them your book is correct your book is correct why you are coming to me and not only that in the top of that it says here in chapter 5 verse number 43 just to show you the donkeys uh, but how how do they come to you for the citizens while they have the Torah which is the plain the decision of Allah what the heck? I thought it's, it's corrupted. And this is in the time of Muhammad. He's asking them to go to the Torah, which they have. And Muhammad, because he could not answer them, they go to the Torah, you have the Torah. So why Muhammad did not say to them, your Torah, the one you have, is corrupted, you donkey? And by the way, I'm not insulting you by using donkey. I'm giving you a rank. And this is your donkey prophet. He take oath in the same book you claim it's corrupted. And he say, I believe in thee and the one who sent thee. He told them to bring the Torah. They put it in the cushion. And he says, I believe in thee and the one who sent thee. And as you see, the Quran is asking Muhammad, asking the Jews to tell to go and judge by the Torah. 
If they don't have the Torah, then how you ask them to dodge by the Torah, which they have. Then we go to the stupid Muhammad book, which it says that the Quran confirming what is with us, literally. Not only confirming, actually, believing, musaddiqan. Musaddiqan does not mean confirm, it means believing in what is with us. How you believe in what is with us? If you are, rejecting what is with us. This is a chapter 2, verse number 41. And we will see the same chapter 2, verse number 89. And we will see the same. There's tons of verses. So the Muhammadan, they are like, you know, like somebody, he come to your yard. He do some poo-poo. He throw a rock at your window. Hey, 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 you believe in Trinity. And the second you ask him, he stop, let us talk. He turn his butt and he start doing fart. As the knowledgeable Muhammad, he said, that when shaitan, he hear the adhan, he turn his ass and he fart at Allah. So the one who speak about logic, he have no problem to believe in this. That shaitan, he fart when he hear salat. The same the logical people. I mean, you see how logical Islam is? Islam is religion of logic. Shaitan, he hear the prayer of Allah, he fart. I, it makes sense, I fart too. Not all the time. I mean, you don't have always the guys. And you cannot do that if there's people around you. That will be rude, unless you want to get rid of them. But because I'm an Arab, by the way, our fart is like musk. So the Muslim who speak about logic, they don't have a problem of a story of their prophet doing poo-poo, and the earth open wide and swallow his poo-poo. Or that the piss of the prophet smell like musk. Or the angel did not come to Muhammad for a while because there's a dead dog under the bed. Dead dog under the bed and Muhammad did not smell. I mean, if you have a little mice in your house will make your house stink. A dog and dead under the bed, under the bed. Not in the kitchen, not under the bed. And Muhammad did not smell it. How stinky Muhammad was. So when a Muhammad and he speak about logic, we love their logic. I mean, look, this religion, it's okay to have sex with a child, but if you play music, you go to hell. Or if you play chess. Or not only that, if you wear a pant uh, covering your ankle, what the heck? I would go to hell because the prophet here you wear short clothes. He's a shorty. Have you ever heard of religion? I mean, this religion make you dead when you're alive. You cannot play music. What will happen if I listen to music, brother? Huh? Allah will make me a pig or a monkey. Is that true? Read it. If you listen to singing girls, you know, go, go open right now, go and search in YouTube, Arabic music. You will, uh, Ramadan, Ramadan is the month of belly dancing. But according to the Quran, if the Muslim, they do that, Allah will make them pigs and monkeys. This is, the, this is what your prophet is saying. And this is Sahih. You see, we will show you only the Sahih one. See, this is a Sahih. Forget about the Eve. And this is Al-Bukhari, brother. Can you show me one person, he listened to music and he was a Muslim, and he into he, he woke up in the morning, he found himself looked like a monkey? Besides Zakarnaik. Anyone? Hmm? So they speak about logic, and I mean, a Muslim speak about logic, and is it logical that your penis will be endless? Is it logical that your wife's ass is one mile? Why not, why not two miles? You know, I like it bigger. What if she fought? You know, what will happen? Do you think uh, we, need to, we need to buy some mask, you know, for the wartime? Because don't you know that uh, farting is a flammable? What if somebody is smoking, he walked by and she fought? One mile ass full of fart? Where you will get her a panty, man? Or she will be naked?
Okay, make makes sense. And your penis is in this. But how how you can excuse my language? How you can use a penis which is in this with one mile? <clears throat> uh, <huh>. You know. <laughs> I'm just now talking about sex, you know, so. <coughs> Muslims understand very well because they speak languages. So when Muhammad and he come and he's questioned the Trinity, we laugh at you. How come you don't question your God? For us, Trinity is very simple. If God cannot be three and one, God cannot be God. This is what he said to us. This is how he is. So you don't ask your God why he have a foot. Let me ask you why Allah have a foot. He is one God. Do we have one foot or two foot? There is no proof that Allah have two foot. One foot. Why he have one foot? What happened to the second one? He lost it in Afghanistan. And why he have a foot? Why Allah have a shin? Why Allah have two hands? Why Allah have five fingers? No question to be asked. So they are so people of into logic, but their logic is silly and stupid. Those are the same people believe that if they enter the bathroom without saying a prayer, shaitan will enter their anus. If a Muslim, imagine the prophet, he said that if you want to have sex with your wife, you have to say a certain prayer before you intercourse. Otherwise, shaitan will wrap himself around your penis. So now your wife, she is like horny. She is waiting for you. She take off her clothes. Excuse my language. <laughs> let me let me write it in a different language. <laughs> okay, you know what's happening now. So she said to him, honey. <laughs> he said to her, <laughs> which means we have to pray first before. <laughs> and now he start making the prayer and the woman, she is waiting for him and he's holding his penis. Why? Because if you don't say the prayer, Shaitan will round himself around the penis and he will do your wife. Those are the ones who's asking us what is logical in Christianity. And by the time he finished the prayer, the wife is snoring. And he wake up, wake up, I just finished the prayer. Hello? Honey, uh, 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 you already finished the prayer? Yes. I hate having sex with you. The neighbor is faster. He don't pray. <laughs> what the heck is this? So this is your religion. The oneness of God is the one who made the Jews pigs and monkeys for fishing in Saturday. I mean, are you sure this is the this is the, the punishment was? So this God, he don't make you a pig or a monkey for raping women or children or killing. But he make you a pig and a monkey for fishing in Saturday. Don't you think, don't you think this is very logical, brother? Allah, he threat the Christians, he will erase their faces. Uh, we don't have faces no more. And our eyebrows is gone. And our mouth is in the back of our head. This is what the verse is saying. If you don't believe in Allah, Allah will do the same to you I did to the Jews. Like, what the heck? This is what he did to the Jews? <laughs> Let us move in the comment. I think enough, you know, the guy, he, he is sorry for making that post. Uh... Okay. Let us see. Uh, we have this guy here saying, uh, CP is a dreamer, very imaginative, exactly. I mean, I'm learning from your prophet, endless penis. Can you draw it for us? Oh, drawing is haram. Art is haram. Music is haram. But long penis is halal. And let him please himself as he make money from YouTube. I don't make money from YouTube. YouTube don't allow me to do advertising, as you know. I give my books for free. Now, let us say I make money. What's your problem? Okay, I, I will help you. This is your prophet who claimed to be a prophet of God. You don't accept to meet people in private unless they pay him first. 
as you see you yourself you come here you don't need to pay and all those people need to pay and then you do not need to actually spend most of my life and never receive a donation this is something new and one day we try to open a tv station nobody support us we ask people you know few people help but it didn't work but here we have a prophet i'm not a prophet and i speak to people for free i give my books for free you're a prophet he says well uh, uh, in order to speak to Muhammad, you have to give him something. Okay, why, why, uh, why, why I have to give him something? Why the prophet is not the bend, the bend? I'm not a prophet. You know, if I'm a prophet, well, God will will send uh, even food from the sky for me. Hmm? Chapter fifty-eight, verse number twelve. Who you believe? When you want to consult the messenger of Allah in private, spend something. Spend something, brother. Well, you can consult with me for three, four hours, and you don't have to pay me a penny for free. I'm my friend, Potato. I'm a person who has degrees. I can make easy, easy money without being here. Here, I people threaten me. They want to kill me. People, they want to find me. People will blah, 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 blah. What for? So a Muslim, he try to attack you in a personal way because they cannot defend their stupid prophet, the child molester. And by the way, uh, you cannot accuse me that I stole underwear. Like the Muslims, they accuse their prophet. Have you ever heard of a prophet, his disciples accusing him that he stole a panty? I mean, what kind of disciple and what kind of gang they are? So now they attacked the neighbor, they took their money, and now they are, oh, there is a red panty was here. Who took it? Right away, the Muslim, they thought about Muhammad because obviously your reputation speed you. Hmm? Otherwise, why accuse Muhammad? There is, there is, there is many Muslims. Why they accuse Muhammad? Because obviously Muhammad is the biggest thief. He is well known. He chose the best of the booty. Let us go to the front, Abdul. This Abdul, he says, the teaching of Muhammad was very clear and simple. Okay, okay, guys, it's very clear and simple. Okay, as long as it's clear and simple, How Allah sit on the chair? And why Allah have a chair? And why he write the name of Muhammad? It's simple. And why Allah, the simple the simple teaching of Allah, he says the Quran have a huge part of it. Nobody knows what it means, save Allah. If it's simple. And as long as it's simple, why you Muslim, you have 10,000 inter interpretation and you don't agree with it? Because it's simple, brother. Why we have Al-Bukhari? Why we have to see Ibn Kathir, Al-Turbi, Al-Qurbadi, Because, brother, the Quran is very simple. Everybody can understand it, brother. But the Quran says, nobody can understand the Quran. The Quran itself says that. So, a Muhammadan, he, and look, right away they accuse Paul. Okay, why your prophet never said something wrong about Paul? He never heard of Paul? He was a stupid. In fact, the Quran says that Paul is a messenger of God. And this is exist in many Islamic tafsir. That Paul, he was a disciple of Jesus, according to Islam. And Jesus appeared to him and he made him blind. And I can show the reference. So the donkey, you, you ask yourself, why 1400 years pass and not a single Abdul in the time of your prophet he mentioned and attacked the name of Paul. Why your God, Muhammad, did not say Paul is the problem? In fact, your prophet, he was copying Paul. And obviously, he learned a lot from Paul. Here's an example. When Muhammad, he claimed that gambling and drinking is from Satan, he was copying who? Paul. Go right now and search in Prophet Google. 
what Paul he said about gambling, drinking, fornication, blah, blah, blah. You will find that this is exactly what Paul said. However, the same stupid prophet is the same one who prays alcohol. And he claimed that alcohol is from Allah. A miracle. Not just This is your stupid city Quran, which is very clear by the way. How 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 the 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 alcohol is from Shaitan and then Allah he have rivers of alcohol in heaven. And here in chapter 16, verse number 67, Allah, he claimed, Akka Muhammad, that alcohol is a great benefit and it is a sign from Allah for those who have wisdom. Do you have wisdom, Abdul? I don't think you have wisdom. You have wiz and dumb. Is that your Quran saying that alcohol is a great wisdom? Or those who understand is those who have wisdom? So is the alcohol is from shaitan or it is from Allah? Here it's from Allah. And look here, the Muslim says, this is was before of the forbidden of alcohol drink. Look, how stupid is that? So before the forbidden, it was a, a good forbidden? It was good? I mean, do you see the stupidity people? They are trying to fix it now. How, okay, how you forbid it later because it's bad from shaitan? And now you are praising alcohol. What happened? <laughs> Let us go to the front idiot. Ah, here we have a person who made a comment about the book, which is called the Book of Enoch. Uh, let us see here. Where is the book of Enoch? Yeah, here we go. This is the same person, he is a Muslim. Look what he said. <clears throat> the book of Enoch is real. Okay, Abdul, as long as the book of Enoch is real, how come your stupid prophet did not mention his name in your Quran? If we go in the Quran, we will find the Muslim, they say Enoch is the same as Idris. What the heck Idris mean and who is he? <laughs> Any Muslim can tell us what Idris mean? Where he live? Who is Idris? Idris? From Enoch, or actually Achanoch, to, you see in, in Latin language, there's names, because they can't pronounce them the way they are in the Hebrew, so they, there is some change. But how the word, how the word Achanoch become the race. And now let us go with you. As long as the book of, of Enoch is real, because it's, it speak of a flat earth, I will go with you. Isn't it the stupid Quran says the earth is a flat? <laughs> and then the stupid Zach and Naik says, Brother Tutar, the word the ha mean uh, ostrich egg. Like, what the heck? A Muslim kid, he is 19 years old, he made a video to refute me. And he come to, with an answer saying that the word the haha mean egg. But this is absolutely false. I mean, this is all the Muslims who have knowledge. They, they laugh. You can open the dictionary. Zakir Naik, he got that from YouTube, from this kid. And it's already in, already in the internet, but you go, you will find not even a single Muslim translation saying the word egg. If it's egg, why you don't say egg? As you see in the Muslim translation, it says here, chapter 79, verse number 30, and after that, he made the earth flat, not spread the earth. The haha, you know, when you have this roller, like the, 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 the one your mother, she used for the bread. You know what I mean? Like when she made, she make a da, and she put it in the table, she want to make it flat. This is what the haha mean. So, and the earth, Allah, he made it flat. We, we can go to see the interpretation. 79, 30, here we go. 
So who is the one who teaches the earth is a flat? It's your God. It's your religion. That's why you have to pray to the direction of Mecca, even though if you live in New Zealand. How you can do that? How you can pray in the direction of Mecca if you live in Australia? You have to put your head in the toilet seat and your legs is up. Because my friend, the earth is, the Mecca is on the other side of the earth. Here we go. This is Tafsir al-Jalaleen. وَالْأَرْضُ بَعْدَ ذَلِكَ دَحَاهَا And after that, he spread the outer earth and he made it flat. So Abdul is what they do. They accuse you of something when they are the one who have it. Are you getting the point? Who is the one who have the earth, flat earth? It's you. Another Abdul, he will say to you, do you know that the Bible says the edge of the earth? The edge, the edge? <laughs> edge? Well, that's mean the earth is flat. Well, the uh, edge of the earth is a figure of speech, and until now it is used. And even the Quran uses it. <laughs> and now the Muslim, they will say, ah, this is a figure of speech. But when they speak about the Bible, they say, this is not a figure of speech. <laughs> Abdul, I have all your laundry here. You are talking to Christian Prince. Do you see the verse? Do you see the verse, brother? Mm. And look at the translation. See that we not, we have a gradual reduced the land. What reduced the land? Reduce the land from where? From its edges. Change the translation. Here we go. This is Hilali and Khan. Let us go to different person. Different Abdul. That's why they don't dare to debate me. Hmm. Look, this guy supposedly is a nicer. He said, reduce its borders. <laughs> Arabic doesn't say border. It says, atrafaha. Nunqisuha min atrafiha. Atrafiha mean its edges. The end of it, the end edges. You change the translator, you can play this game, and you will find every Muslim Abdul try to fix it, as usual. Nothing new. This is Islam, brother. Uh, let us see. Tahani, God. Tahani, Maitani. Hmm? Oh, here it says edges, see? Allahu Akbar. Finally, we find the word edges here. So when the Bible says they use edges, it's okay? No, it's not okay. Only the Quran used the word edges. It's okay. Here it's metaphorical. There, it's not a, it's not a figure of speech. But isn't it the Bible says that God, he created the earth, he hang it, he make it like a globe and he hang it on nothing? Like a globe. This is the Bible. Isn't it the Quran says Allah, he made the earth like a carpet? I mean, we have tons of verses, my friend. We can spend the whole day showing you the earth is a flat. Wallahu ja'ala lakum al-ardu What the heck? Chapter 71, verse number 90, 19. Look at the Muslim translation. Allah, he spread out the earth for you. But he did not spread the earth for us. He made it as a carpet. That's what it says. Let us go and read the interpretation again. 71, 19. You see the interpretation for the clear Quran. Remember the Muslim said the Quran is clear. So now you have no problem with the interpretation. <laughs> the interpretation. Uh, the, the, the Quran is so clear, brother. It's so clear. Okay, here we go. This is Tafsir al It says, And God has made the earth flat, open expenses for you. Are you there, Abdul? We have your laundry. You see, you can go to David Wood. You can play games with him. Hey, by the way, David Wood, he have a debate with this guy. His name is Perfect Dawah. Let me let me go there. Hold on. You see, I'm not. Some people they upset because they think I'm speaking negatively about David Wood. I'm not. You know, I I say what I don't like. So you know, don't go all over me. Says why well, you are saying that. I can say whatever I want. Or why not? If I say if I say something not right, you know. So this guy, he went to David Wood. Perfect dawa, but this is the same guy we made him shish kebab just not long time ago. You remember? Okay. And the debate as usual. Five minutes for you. 
five minutes for me. And I can see as many lines as I want. And then after the five minute is over, if there's any fact check of what this guy said, no, zero. So those form of debate, and this is my advice for all Christians, I'm not going to advise David Wood no more, because obviously he don't care, he don't listen, and we think he is doing the right thing, so this is business. But those, de those form of debate is not a debate. This is the debate. I'm not going to play it for you. I mean, just to show you how silly it is. I mean, what is that? What is the debate in the debate? First of all, when you bring somebody to debate you, you see, I open my Skype, anyone can call me. I don't call it a debate. Somebody who is 19, he can call me. Somebody who is 40, he can call me. Somebody who is 60, but I cannot really call it a debate. It's a snack. But then you organize time and you invite people and you have a moderator. What the moderator for? You see, the killing of any argument is a moderator. Let us argue. Let us debate. Why this guy is there? I'm not talking against this guy. I don't know him. But I'm saying, what the point of this? And then we give the microphone for the Abdul. And the Abdul, he starts the blah, 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 blah. And I trust me, nobody is listening. Not David Wood is listening. Not the moderator. And not the audience. Because this guy is just reading from an article in front of him in the computer. Boring. He does towards freedom out of this land of oppressor, oppressors. Through your grace, give us a, pr a protector and a helper. Chapter 5, verse 89. Allah will not call you to account for your thoughtless oaths, but he... Why David Wood don't stop him, says he, Abdul Batato, you just told us that your God, he allow you to lie and take false oath. So the guy, he keep reading, you know, stop him, say something to him. Hey, Abdul, your God, don't take your accountants for your false oath. So he will talk you accounted for what? Do you guys, do you understand? So the guy, he go, and he go, and he go, and he go, and they would do the drinking tea. And the moderator disappear from the screen. I don't know where he go, maybe for the bathroom. And the, and the guy he go. Obviously, there's nobody listening. My advice to anyone want to have a real debate, Christians or Muslims, don't do those stupid five minute things because there's no debate in the debate. I can say a hundred lie, you say three in a lie, and nobody even listening. It's boring. When somebody says something, stop him. Let us check the fact. You just said Allah will not take you accountable for your false oath. What kind of God he will not take you accountable for your false oath? Hmm? Unless he's a false God. You see in the Old Testament, there's a person, he took an oath. If the Jews, they have a victory, he will slaughter the first thing he see. Anyone knows where we can find that? Refresh your memory. This Jewish guy, he made a promise, and he had to keep his promise. An oath. When they have victory, the first one he saw it was his daughter. What he did, he killed his daughter. And his daughter, she insisted, you have to kill me. This is how conservative those people are. This is how serious taking oath to God is for them. In Islam, Allah will not take you accountable for your oath. And this guy, we did not even whip the floor with him. We whipped the garbage with him. Go and watch the previous debate if we can call it a debate. Ah, David Wood, he make note and he answer him later. So what's the point of the debate? I mean, come on, guys. You know, this is not, this is just like, this is a childless, uh, uh, you know. Uh, you know, okay, your turn now. And, and, and now my turn. And now I say nothing. And then you say nothing. And in the end, we got nothing. And we learn nothing. And nobody, as long as nobody got anyone busted, it means there's no debate. As simple as that. Just take it from me. Anyway. Let us go to the second comment. We have more comments here. Ah. 
Yeah, this guy, he mentioned the book of Enoch. The book of Enoch is real because it speaks about the flat earth. We got you busted in that. Why it was removed from the Bible, donkey son of Mutai. It was never in the Bible to remove it. You are a certified idiot. And when you say to me, it is part of the Ethiopian Bible. This is there's a there's a church in Ethiopia who have such a Bible and in Eritrea. It's part of their book, but it's not the Bible. And in the same time, anyone who take a look at this book will not notice right away that this is not cannot be a book from God. It's written by somebody long after. You know, you know, uh, Enoch is the seventh generation or the seven uh, in from the time of Adam. So he is before the flood of Noah. And then you find this guy is talking about the Babylon, the Messiah. I mean, he's talking about things. It's not existing in his time. And not only that, let me give you an example of those, you know. This is the book of Enoch, page number 30. Enoch then began to speak from a book. Okay, who is talking then? Obviously, this is written by somebody. If Enoch is the one who is writing this book, he will not say that. This is the same as the Quran. The Muslim, they say the Quran is the book of Allah. But Allah, he says, and then Allah, he said, or then he said, well, aren't you the one who's talking? It is he who created for you the earth and the heaven. So Enoch then began to speak from a book. But who is the one who wrote the book? If the one who wrote the book is Enoch, he will not say, and then Enoch began to speak from a book and said, this is a quotation, obviously, of somebody writing about somebody. His name is Enoch. And then he will find a lot of silly, stupid things. And by the way, we ask the Muslims, as long as you approve the book and it's real, why you don't have it in your book? Why Allah did not preserve it? Here, uh, Even those who, you know, they study the book of Enoch and they believe, they, they, they add it to their, let us say, library, they say, thus we are learned that the book of Enoch was published before the, uh, the Christian era by some great unknown, <laughs> by some who, a great unknown. <laughs> I'm not going to continue. Great unknown. Okay, so let's continue. Uh, here, this is the name of the chapter, this is the page, all right? Here you will see it says, <clears throat> uh, Before all those things Enoch was concealed, nor did any one of the sons of men know where he was concealed. Okay. If Enoch book is written by Enoch, why Enoch is not telling us, is telling us that he was concealed and nobody knows where he was concealed. <laughs> I mean, you see, I just opened the book of Enoch and I flipped some, I'm not preparing an answer. This is just from, I mean, from the beginning, this is stupid. If Enoch is the one who made the book, obviously this is somebody writing about Enoch and nobody knows who's this guy. Before all things Enoch was concealed, nor did he any one of the sons of men nor know where he was concealed. If, if Enoch is the one who's writing the book, he knew where he was. He knew where he go. So isn't it obvious that this is somebody writing about this person? So we, why well, we have to take it seriously? And we do not know who is this person. And by the way, this book can be used greatly as a tool for the Christians, because speak about the Messiah. Okay, how the book of Enoch speaking about the Messiah, but there's no Messiah yet. Speaking about crucifixion, sacrificing, etc. I mean, so we, this is telling you how serious we are as a Christians. And just to let you know, you Abdul, the one who reject the book is not the Christians, it was the Jews. You are a certified donkey. It is the Jews who refuse it. And the Christians, when they came, they accepted that the, 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 the Holy Book, the Old Testament, as it is from the Jews. So it's not us who accepted, who rejected. 
or this is have nothing to do with us. And in the same time, it's a silly, stupid book. And actually, you will find, if you go to the original book, you will find that Muhammad, he got a lot of stories from there. As an example, Muhammad, he claimed that there is, uh, you know, there is gold and silver in heaven. There's a storage. Hail, hail is coming from mountains in, in, uh, uh, in heaven. This is, this is the book of, you know, chapter L, uh, L1. After that period, in the place where I had seen every secret site, so God supposedly took this guy, uh, you know, took him to heaven. All right. I was snatched up in the wide, in the wide wind and carried off uh, westwards. There, there my eyes beheld the secret of heaven and all which existed in earth. A mountain of iron, a mountain of copper, a mountain of silver, a mountain of gold, a mountain of fluid metal, uh, a mountain of, of land. My friend, this is the guy who was seven, uh, he, he is a seven generation or seven uh, uh, after Ad Adam. Speaking of all of the, all of those things. So, you know, I mean, this is obviously uh, the Messiah. When the first time the word Messiah appear? The Messiah, a person, if you go to the book of Judas, it's, it says, let us go to the book of Judas, hold on. So when, when Muhammad and they, you know, they say things, we laugh. Enoch is the seventh generation, the seventh from Adam. He is the seventh from Adam. This guy is talking about things. Obviously, he, the, whoever writing the book, he witnessed things is exist long, you know. After Abraham, Babylon. <laughs> So, uh, potato, you know, your laundry is here. Okay, I, I think we are uh, done with those stories. Do we have any Muslim have any comment about what we said and what we did not say? Because, by the way, Muslim, they, they make comment. If you go watch the video after and look at the comment, you will see that the Muslim comment have nothing to do with what we said in the video. Uh, is it true that the modern German are descended from the ancient Assyrian? Uh, okay. That's deep. Is that an article online, my friend? I don't know if you heard me before. People, they ask me, where are you from? I say I'm a black, blonde, African-American from Japan. My friend, everything is possible these days. If you don't believe me, ask Biden, you know the thing. So German, the modern German, but the, but the, but the Babylon are ancient. The modern German are descendant from the ancient Assyrian? What the heck is that? You know, if you, like you say the ancient German, they are descended from the ancient Assyrian. It makes sense what this is phrase mean. That I'm not making fun of you, by the way. Obviously, somebody made an article about it. But this is mean that the German, the modern German, Ger German, they germinate 3,000 years after their ancestor die. <laughs> things happen, my friend. Things happen. Just let it go. Just let it go. This world is really something unbelievable. I love it. I love it. It's good to be human. It's good. You know, you can, you can enjoy stupidity. And... Ah, okay. Uh... Act 29. Uh, uh, ruffled guys Paul he went to Britain in act 29 Paul he went to Britain here we go <laughs> are you sure it was not Sri Lanka as a prophet Adam <laughs> I mean people are really funny 
You see, I think there's, you know, when you go online, you have to, uh, you have to accept something that there's many people, they have really mental illness. It's not their fault, but you know, mental illness is exist. It's real. And there is a medicine for it. But you cannot make people who have mental illness uh, healthy. And you need the miracle of God. Maybe, uh, you know, a medicine can uh, reduce the, the symptoms, the effect, uh, you know. But medicine will not make you really uh, leave your mental illness. So according to this person, uh, this Abdul, uh, he felt, he felt, I mean, that's it, he felt. And why? Because uh, Paul, he went to Britain. <laughs> uh, brother, uh, how Paul, he went to Britain, did he use a GPS? Do you have any uh, like additional information? Do you have any information? What do you think? So, uh, Britain uh, as a land was not exist in the time of Paul. Uh, and I think Rome wasn't exist too. I heard they, they put it there later. Mm. And I heard that too that Greece is not there. But uh, I want to know about Britain. Can you help us? I'm waiting for you. Mr. Britain. Stupidity is amazing. The Chinese are smart. They said he left as a donkey, he never came back as a horse. Do we have any smart person here who want to say anything? You know, even, let us say, Paul, he went to Japan. But Japan is exists. I mean, it's a land. I mean, Paul is not a person who exists a billion years ago. All those lands. Which one is older? Rome or Paul? Britain or Paul? Stupidity is amazing. Do you know that Allah have left hand? Yes, I know, but this is contradiction, right? This is contradiction for what Allah, he says that Allah, both his hands are right hands. Do we have any Abdul? Okay, somebody's asking this question. I am assuming that this is a question not meant for... Uh, let us see. The question here is saying, if Jesus take a perfect man form, is Jesus has sexual desire? You see, uh, uh, the question, this is not a question really, because you know that Jesus never had a woman. And who is going to stop a person you know, at the, at the time of Jesus, if you are 20, I mean, you are already old to, you know, you get married in the age of, you get married in the age of 17, 18, you know, very early. And there is many reason for that. Life is very simple. Everybody is poor anyway, which means next year will not be better. It's the same. And the uh, requirement is very simple, you know, just a room, build a room somewhere. Women, she agree. Whatever you, they give the worry. And usually it's something simple. Uh, and they get married. So Jesus never have a woman. Jesus never been with a woman. And Jesus never commits sin. So obviously Jesus, the full man, yet he is God in the same time, is a perfect in the ethic. He's perfect as a human. Which means he have whatever human he have, but yet he never did anything human being he do when it's come to sin. 
Uh, and even if it's not sin, like marriage is not a sin, right? If you marry a woman, you are not committing sin. Jesus did not do marriage. So obviously, Jesus, uh, he have no, no desire for such a thing, for very simple reason, for he is God in the form of a man. The same as even the Quran mentioned, that Allah, he sent his spirit, and his spirit appeared to Mary in a perfect man. Bashar <clears throat> Ansawiyya. And that perfect human, which is an angel, according to Muslims, but the Quran doesn't say angel. The Quran says our spirit. <clears throat> See, my voice is still tired from before. So he came to, uh, to uh, uh, he came to Mary, uh, and this spirit appear as a perfect man. Do any Muslim dare to say this perfect man, which is the spirit of Allah, have a sexual desire? It's a perfect man, which means whatever the man has, this spirit of Allah has, as a man. How, well, you know, what the, what the Lord, he says, from their fruits you shall know them. Did the fruit of Jesus is a fruit of a man? Obviously not. Because no man can do what Jesus can do, and no man is not a sinner. I hope I did answer you. The Bible says all men commit sin. All men. All men. Prophets. Not prophet. Doesn't matter. All men commit sin. Save Jesus. Uh, well, that's a good uh, look at the Muslim here. Look what he said. I mean, just to show you the stupidity. Maybe he have a delay. I just showed you, you idiot, that your Quran speaking about the spirit of Allah coming in a perfect man, and you just said this. Read and love. Christian prince, sick can merge into your religion will merge into 72. But you strip it in your religion is going to be 73. Which means it's more safer to be 72. Because remember, one of them is the truth. Which one? I challenge you to tell me. Now, your religion will be 73. Which one? I challenge you to tell me. So it is more secure and safe to be a Christian from being a Muslim because 73 in Islam, which means you have one more chance to be lost. In Christianity, it's 71 or 72. Your prophet is not sure. And by the way, what 72? Can you count them for me, the 72 sect? Stupid Abdul. And then he says, if your God has no sexual desire as a man, then doesn't that make him defect man? Christianity cannot work either way. Well, here we go. If Allah, he sent his spirit as a perfect man, doesn't it mean that this perfect man who is spirit of Allah then is defect man? I'm using your logic. You just give a finger in the bum of your God. My God is perfect God. This is why what he do, he do perfection. When he do no sin, it doesn't make him defect. It make him perfect. Now we have your God who commits sin. And we can prove it all over. As an example. Who is the person who did tempt shaitan to do bad? Is it shaitan who did bad or Allah tempt him to, to do bad? Let us see. This is your Quran. This is your stupid Quran. All those verses saying that Allah, he deceived shaitan, and he made him shaitan. He actually, uh, look, this is your Muslim translation, chapter 7, shaitan saying to Allah, because you have lured me. What the word lured me mean? Change the translator. Itani, or let us say, Hilali Khan, who is the one who sent him astray? Allah. 
Is it sin to send somebody astray, people? Is it sin to mislead somebody? The Muslim, they will say yes. So Jesus, don't mislead and don't send people astray. Jesus, he said, I came for the sick, not for the healthy. So this is the perfect Jesus. The perfect Jesus is not about him having sex. That's because you are a low-class person like your prophet. That's why you Muslim, you focus too much in the vagina and the penis of your prophet. When the Hadith says that your prophet used to go and F all his wives in one wash at the end, what kind of animal here? This is an animal behavior. This is an animal behavior. A person, he claimed to be a human being. He go and he F his wives. He go from house to house. And what is the mission? To F the women inside the house. He finished, he go to the second house. He finished, he go to the third house. And then after he finished with all of them, he take a wash. Let us see the hadith. Here we go. And this is Sahih. Do you see it? The Prophet used to go around all of his wives with one bath. Animal. And why this man he go from a woman to a woman? Is that true? That he F all the women, 13 women, in one night? Is that making your prophet a perfect man? And then the perfect man who take a, a bath, when he take the bath, he jump in the water, have dead dogs. And women of blood from period. And that make Muhammad the perfect man. A perfect clean. How? By jumping in water, have dead dogs, and women of blood from period, and garbage. And even the Muslim, they say stink. You see, this is the Muslim translation. Look at this. It says, are you going to do this in a place where they have dead dogs, menstruation or clothing, and stinking things thrown in it? So for sure, Muhammad was a perfect man. Uh, you see, uh, now, the, now the Abdul, he changed the topic. He don't want to answer about anything I said. Look what he said. Now he tried to fix it. He tried to fix the stupidity of his prophet. Look what he said. Do you understand that Iblis is capable of lying? Allah is a W T. S A W T. What does that mean? Just to show you the stupidity of this religion. Allah is the W T. <laughs> he only gave him a choice to choose good or bad. That is a stupid donkey answer because according to Islam, there's no choice to a donkey. According to Islam, it is. A destiny. Let me show you. Did Shaitan deceive Adam and Eve or Allah? Allah. Read with me. Shaitan is just doing the plan of Allah. Allah, He sent them to talk to Adam. Adam and Musa, they have an argument, a debate. Don't ask me how that happened, how Adam and Musa met, but this is a stupid Muhammad statement. So, Adam, he was accused by Musa that he, because of him, we are out of heaven. And then Musa, he said to him, sorry, Adam, he said to Musa, you stupid Musa, are you accusing me, blaming me for a fate written before my creation, for an action? which Allah written in, in my fate 40 years before my creation. And your prophet, he take the side of Adam, claiming that Adam, he won the argument. Why? We cannot blame Adam for the fate. So it was the fate of Shaitan. It was the fate of Adam. It was not Shaitan deceiving anyone. Is that your stupid prophet speaking or me? Abdul, are you there? So what Shaitan did? Nothing. Read carefully, and you don't know how to read it, or you are literate like your prophet. Do you blame me for doing deeds which Allah had decreed that I should do 40 years before he created me? So based on this stupid religion, even Adam and Shaitan, they have no idea what they are doing. We cannot blame them.
for the sin. Neither Shaitan, neither Adam, because simply it was a fate, it was a decree, and Adam, he have to do it, and Shaitan have to do it. Who is involved in the story of sin in the heaven? Shaitan, Adam, Eve. But now we figure out that neither of them is really involved. It was a decree. Do you see it? Abdul, you are talking to Christian Prince. I will squeeze you the same as I squeeze my socks and dirty water will come out because my feet is so clean. You know what I'm saying? Who dare? Even if you are a cube, I will make you a square. Just try me. Anyway, I think we have a good time together today. Uh, again, we will be back as soon we get more than 20,000 view. So share the link so we can come back, you know, in case you miss me. I know nobody miss me. The only one miss me is Allah. Alhamdulillah, brother. You know, in the other day, I have a friend, he said to me, why the Muslims didn't do what Abraham did? I said to him, no, they do. He said, how? He said, every Muslim, he cut his penis. Using ads. Except Muhammad, he did never cut his penis. Brother, Christian Prince, why the why we Muslims we do circumcision and Jesus did circumcision, but you Christian don't do circumcision? Okay, but your prophet never did circumcision. What? Your prophet never did circumcision. Do you know why? Because in the time of your prophet, there was no ads. It was exist only in the time of Abraham. After that, it disappeared from the market, disconnected from China. Abraham, he cut his penis by using ads? I mean, Abraham's penis was a penis of an elephant? How in the world Abraham, he circumcised himself using ads? He didn't have to, like knife at that time. Ads? So like he put it in the table like... Bleh, bleh. Ads, brother. What the heck is that? And then we find their prophet, he never cut his penis. He never touched it. He don't even have a penis to cut it. I mean, obviously, all this story is exaggeration about sex to cover something. And he himself, he said, I am the most weak person between all mankind and sex. And then I invoke my God, Allah. And then he sent me a dish of shish kebab. I just found a picture of Abraham with the ads he was using to do circumcision. Brother. Alhamdulillah. What the heck is that? This is how Abraham he cut his penis. He put it in the rock there. And boom. Kaboom. Ah. What a religion. Oh boy. That would hurt. Man. What did he miss? Do you think he miss? I mean... I mean, how you? Can... I don't want to think about it. Just, just, just let it go. I mean, what if you miss? Like, what, what the heck is that, man? This is what he used to cut his uh, ads. May Allah ads you. You know what? I'm going to go to Indonesia. I will open circumcision clinic using ads. Tell them follow the steps of Abraham. All the Mohammedan, they come to my clinic. Put your penis there. Hey, yeah, you cut my penis. Oh, hello. This is how Abraham did it. <laughs> so we should do it. <laughs> I hate you all. Don't you hate me? Honestly, 
Hey, Muslim, don't you hate me? I understand, honestly. I'm, I mean, I make your God look so stupid because he is so stupid. You, you, you cannot deny it. I mean, what the heck is that? I mean, can't you at least use shovel, man? Shovel, he shovel it. Hammer it. That's it? Like, what the heck? Hmm. Anyway, oh boy. I'm watching thrillers. You know, I'm not watching thrillers. I, you watch my thriller. You, all of you, you come here to watch a movie you never saw before. Be honest with me. Can you find better comedy than this? You see, there's many. Uh, let me tell you, tell you about teaching. Teaching is a gift. There's teachers who make the classroom boring, stupid. Students start yawning, you know what I mean? And those teachers make you really feel so good. You don't want to miss a second. This is how you know who is gifted and who is not. So how many of you even sleep? Like, I mean, in, in, uh, in uh, Indonesia now, what a time. Hey, Indonesian people, what a time now, Indonesia. And people until now, they are staying just to listen. I mean, they should be asleep by now. It's too late. So this is telling you that there is a reason for all of you to be here. We give you information, we share knowledge with you, and we demolish all the cult of Muhammadan in a very funny way, which is present, let us say, a form of intelligence. And the God who we believe in is the one who inspires us how to refute them. Otherwise, I didn't know how Muslims, what they would say to me, what they would say now, what they would say next, but whatever they say, they will be crying for it. Doesn't matter what they say. Once I was, an, uh, uh, was a, a challenging Muslims, so I said, name, give me three words, any three words you want. And I will show you a story about your stupid prophet. Any, any three words, just type any three words. So one of them, he was smart. So he said, okay, I challenge you to find a story about this. And he typed the word microwave. Oh boy. How I'm going to find him now? A story from Muhammad about microwave. Abdul, he thought he got me because I will challenge him now. Just say any three words. He gave me only one, and I got him this. According to Muhammad, there is a microwave in the heaven of Allah. And if a Muslim man, he wished to have a child, he will be pregnant and deliver it in less than 20 minutes. In the translation here, it says hour. This is false translation, because sa at that time used as 15 to 20 minutes. So this is what Muhammad promised you, a microwave, and you will be the microwave. And don't ask me how in the world you will deliver the baby. But this is the fastest microwave ever. You desire to have a child. You will have a billy now. And the billy will be ready to deliver in less than 15 minutes. I mean, you put a, if you, if you try to make a pizza in the microwave, it will take more microwave of Allah but it what is driving me crazy from where the Muslim man will deliver it I mean okay you're a man now just think about it and now you have a baby inside you and you see the hadith so clear he will conceive it he will conceive it not she he read it he will be conceived and born and growing up not only he will be born he will grow up and he have a mustache and beard in less than 15 minutes what the heck is that my mom when she gave birth to me she told me i have a mustache you no know? and she told me like you are when you are born you were gifted uh, I told her why. I said, you took the ring of the doctor. You know? 
me you see how gifted I am she put her hand there I took the ring <laughs> unbelievable true story by the way it's true story Sayyid Bukhari Abdul this is what uh, what is that and what the purpose of this story here you will conceive a baby and you, what you will deliver him from your nose or from your ass may Allah ask you This is a lot of astronomy here. As, as you, astronomy. Astaghfirullah. What the heck is that? It's too much, too much uh, shish kebab. Almost. Who can beat, who can beat Muhammad in it? Like the Muslim, the other Muslim, he says you have imaginary. Who can beat Muhammad with the imaginary? The woman in the heaven, she will be wearing 70 dress. Like, what the heck? 70 dress? And how long I'm going to take time to take off her clothes so we can have boom boom? 70 dress? Okay, brother, don't worry. They are 70 dress, but they are very, very, very thin. You can see through. <laughs> so what's the point of the 70 dress then? <laughs> what about one dress and forget about the rest? <laughs> no, 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 no. 70 dress, brother. 70 dress. Abdul, why 70 dress? What for? And all the heaven of Allah, women, they have the same face. Imagine you go to a dating website, everybody have the same age, the same name, the same face, and the same profile. And they sing the same song. It's where the name, some song is coming from. Same song, same song. You know, it's like a, a robot machine, like, and and they have a song. By the way, do you know what? Any, anyone remember the song of the versions in the heaven? Anyone remember it? <clears throat> There's a special song. All of them they repeated. Who remember the song? They will be singing for you, brother. They will be singing for you. They have one song. And they repeat the same song for you for eternity. I mean, this is not boring, by the way. Think about it. All of them, they have the same song. And read the song with me. This is Da'if. Let us see the other Da'if. <laughs> Let us read this one here first. <laughs> Indeed, in paradise, there is gathering of al hur Those are the, the hookers. Hooker of al ain wherein they raise their voices and they sing, The Creator have not heard the like of them. Like, what the heck? Oh no, this is not the song yet. Nobody heard this song before. Listen, listen carefully. Nobody heard the song before. But you stupid, you just told us the song. How we never heard the song if we know the song? Abdul, you just told us a song. And they say that the creatures have not heard like them before. Okay. He said, they will say, we are the eternal one. Like, what the heck? They are gods. They are the eternal one. We shall not die. We are the one who live in joy and comfort. We have no needs except boom boom. We are the pleased ones. We do not get angry. We don't get upset. To the one who we belong to us. So Muhammad, you want to make them Muslims feel the Muslim men feel better. You know, women they cause a lot of problems. I mean, come on, just face it. You know, long nails. You know, shopping, credit card. She want to do her hair twice a week, three times a week. I mean, come on, hello. Their mother-in-law, she is complaining. Blah 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 blah. Muhammad, he told them, listen carefully. Those women are not the same. They will never be upset from you. Doesn't matter what you do. They are always pleased with you. 
and they are very soft. And Naimat. And Naimat. Living in a pleasant time. We never get upset. We never get angry. We are always satisfied, even if your penis is not working. Very good news. So this is the song they will repeat for you for eternity. Now, if you want to know more about description of the whore, maybe we should go and see different... Uh, uh, look at this hadith here. The Messenger of Allah says in Paradise, there is no market, there is a market which is bought or sold except images of men and women. If a man like an image, he will enter it, i.e. become his. And in, uh, in Paradise, there is an, an, a gathering of al hur who raise their voices, no, uh, no created being has been ever the like it. They say, we are eternal one, and we will never die, and etc, etc, etc. So, if a man desire the image, he will enter it. Mm. Who is inside it? Hurul Hain, the Hur, brother. Now, let's see the description of Hurul Hain. Look at this here. Ibn Umar reported that the Prophet saying paradise is decorated for Ramadan. Oh, from the beginning of the year till the following year, well, that's mean that nothing decorated, it's the same decoration, still, this is all decoration. <laughs> and when the first day of Ramadan comes, the wind under the throne blows some of the leaves of paradise on the median with bright large eyes and they will say my lord appointed us husbands from among the servant with whom we shall be happy and who will be happy with us what the heck is that that's deep that's so beautiful I'm not sure how many of you is going to convert to Islam, so I'm going to stop with this because I like to see many of you really accepting Islam as fast as the speed of Joe Biden making his speech and forgetting what he was going to say. And now it's time for you to go to bed and praise be Allah, the one who say all uh, stuff which is no stuff like it. And nobody is like Allah for Allah is unique and no one like Allah. For he is the most funny, the most dummy, the most stupid, the most idiot, the most silly, and the most horny. But yet he don't have penis. He focus too much on your penis, but he don't have one. Because he used the ads once. And then since then, he starts saying, never again. Thank you all. Make it more than 20,000 so fast so we can come back to you. In case you miss us, Christ is Lord, Islam is false, and feel free to so subscribe to Patreon so you can receive notification if you care to do so. God is good, and good is Jesus. He is the one who promised you eternal life, but no sex, for his house is holy. He said, He and she, they will be the same as angels, for the heaven of God is the heaven of angels. For the house of God is not the house of food and sex and drinking and gambling. The house of God is not a casino, my friend. If you are seeking a casino, go to Islam. If you are seeking a casino, go to Las Vegas. If you are seeking Jesus, go to heaven. Thank you, and God bless you. See you soon. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, 
and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. 